Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your screen recording video using Filmora 13. Okay, so uh, yesterday I published a video about how to record your computer screen using Filmora 13. And there are some questions asking me how to edit the screen recording. Because you know that in Filmora 13, now it records your computer screen and save it in three track so we have webcam and screen video and your audio or audio from your microphone so it's a little bit difficult to to edit your screen recording by the way if you know a proper way to edit your screen recording then it is very convenient okay and for those of you who want to try filmora 13 you can go ahead to the link in the description or if you want to purchase the software don't forget to use my 20 percent discount coupon code to save your money all right, so let's take a look at my example. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to double check your Filmora version on your computer. Okay, so to do that, it is very simple. Let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my Filmora 13. And the first thing you want to go to help menu and click this button about and you see the version. So this is Filmora 13.0.25. That is how to double check your Filmora version on your computer. All right, let's stop the recording now. Okay, so going to the example, in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut and delete a part of your screen recording video and how to create a circle mask for your webcam and how to add animation effect or transition to your webcam from full screen to your webcam. Added to that, I will also show you how to add a simple lower third template to your screen recording video. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my computer screen and it is Filmora 13. And we are going to use this screen recording video. Okay, and sorry about my shirt because I have just played football, so I have to change it. All right, so first up, we want to delete all the empty track here. And let's say, okay, so we want to delete this empty track and now you have this is a webcam video and this is a screen video and down here you have the audio from your microphone let's play it first hey, welcome to another tutorial on my channel so today I'm going to show you how to check your version on your computer okay 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 so that is take number one and I mess up with my video so now we need to use take number two and the first thing i want to scale up my video here my webcam to full screen so all i need to do to select it right here and we can select it at the preview window also and then we can scale it up okay something like this and now we need to split the video and the screen and also the audio to delete the section that we don't want to use so first up you want to click away or click anywhere on your timeline okay and now we can split all the track with this button just click here to split all the track so this is tip number one if you want to split all the track all the timeline just click away or click and add an empty space on your timeline and you can split everything okay and now we can just delete them and be mentioned that I turn on the auto report here so that I don't need to do the report delete for my video and let's play it take number two hi guys welcome. okay so we need to delete that section also okay so we can do the same just put the playhead here and split it and now we can just delete this section okay so this is the video hi guys welcome to another tutorial on my channel in this video we're going to learn how to double check your filmora version on your computer okay so at this point i want to add a lower third to make an intro or a text something like that to introduce my tutorial so it is very simple we can just go ahead to the title tab right here okay at that we can select lower third so we need to select a free one so just click here to select a free one and i think this one should be okay for me by the way you can select anything okay just right and drop it down here just put it on top of your webcam video and this is the lower third okay so to do that it is okay and then we can just double click at the text on the screen to edit it okay to how to check Filmora 13 version 
okay so we can change this also to short tutorial something like that and now we want to align this lower third to the position something here learn how to okay so when i say how to we can put the text right here okay double check your filmora version on your computer okay so to do that it is very simple let's go to my computer screen okay so to do that it is very simple now i need to go to my computer screen so now i will need a transition effect or an animation effect to scale down my video okay to the corner so first up we want to split the video right here and we can just simply add an image mask to my webcam video okay to do that we can just double click and then we want to select mask here and select this circle mask okay and adjust the circle mask remember to click at the at the mask so that you can move the mask you click here you will move the whole video okay so for now we can just scale down the video and put it at the corner okay so i think it is at the corner by the way i want to add a drop shadow to this video also so just go back to basic and scroll down here and we have a drop shadow so we can just click here and select projection okay so i think it's fine but the drop shadow is in is in black so i want to make it in white okay so i'm going to scroll down here and select the color so let's change it to white and also adjust the blur and increase the opacity something like this by the way i'm going to adjust the distance also to make it closer to my webcam video okay so i think it's okay by the way we still need a transition effect so i'm going to add a transition effect at this position just go to transition okay so you can use anything by the way i can use this one the push one or this one morph okay i think this is cool just try and drop it down here okay so let's take a look at the transition effect my computer screen all right so this is my filmora 13 and the first thing you want to go to help menu okay so now we need to go to help menu by the way in my opinion i think it is too small so now we need to zoom in to the help menu okay to do that we can just go back maybe some frame and remember you need to add keyframe to the screen video not your webcam video okay so you want to select your screen video here and then we can just click here to add a keyframe and then you can move some frame forward maybe something like this and now you can adjust the scale of the screen and also the position okay just scroll up here and we can see the scale here so i'm going to make it bigger and also i can just click here at the screen video and i can move it okay so let's take a look at the effect the zoom effect and the first thing you want to go to help menu and then okay so i think it should happen a little bit earlier we can adjust the keyframe here okay and uh, let's take a look in and the first thing you want to go to help menu and then you want to check to say this about okay again okay so this is Pimora 13 user interface so all you need to do is to go to have and click this okay and click this about button right by the way i mess up here you want to check this to go to help menu and and you want to click the help check the about button so now i'm going to split this one and go to this section okay so this is Pimora 13 user interface so all you need to do is to go to have and then we want to click here so i can just delete this thing okay and let's take a look you go to help menu and click this button about and you see okay and now at this position i want to scale to full screen because we can see that this is a window of the white window it's overlap with my webcam okay so now we want to go back to this 
screen video and add another keyframe and then go back here and now we need to reset the scale and also reset the position of the screen so it will go back to full screen okay let's play you see the version so this is Filmora 13.0.25 that is how to double check your Filmora version on your computer all right let's stop the recording now all right so that's almost everything you want to do to edit your screen recording by the way we still need a background music so i'm going to go back to my media and select global media because i have a, a free no copyrighted music here so i can go back to my music and i can use this one just drag and drop it down here on the timeline okay and remember you want to split the the audio at the end of the video and now we want to add fade in and fade out for my audio so i can just do it here with the fade in and fade out and let's listen to it hey guys welcome to another tutorial on my channel so the voiceover and the music is just kind of mixing together so now we are going to use the audio ducking in Filmora 13 okay so we want to select the voiceover here this is the voiceover track and we want to right click and select adjust audio and just scroll down here we have the audio ducking here we want to make it about 60 okay and then we can click ok and now let's review the tutorial hi guys welcome to another tutorial on my channel in this video we're going to learn how to double check your Filmora version on your computer okay so to do that it is very simple let's go to my computer screen all right so this is my Filmora 13 and the first thing you want to go to help menu and click this button about and you see the version so this is Filmora 13.0.25 that is how to double check your Filmora version on your computer all right let's stop the recording now okay so it's nice right and if you want to add fade out effect or stuff like that to your video it is also very simple you want to go back to your transition and you want to find the fade effect or the fade transition effect and just add it to your video and the screen at the same time okay something like this and now you can export your video okay just click here to export your video and being mentioned that with Filmora 13 we can edit our thumbnail before exporting our video okay so remember to do that if you want to desire a good thumbnail using Filmora 13 otherwise after exporting you cannot come back to this editor to edit your thumbnail so this is my thumbnail and I think I should put it in my video and you see the thumbnail okay so this is how to edit your screen recording video using Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. And I have more tutorial about how to use AI feature in Filmora 13. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.